Hey, we got a nice new commander pimp edition looking good, but no, 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 no. This will not do. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. We are here with my Jeep Commander, my new, to me, Jeep Commander. My old one was smashed. This is the replacement. What we got to do today is do some door swaps. We got some damage on the driver rear door. We got uh, some dings on the passenger rear door. The driver door has a couple scuffs in the paint. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a full door swap video, show you how to swap the doors, swap the door cards. And although this is a pimp edition, I think we're gonna swap out the chrome handles and put on the regular black handles from the old commander. So, door swap video, here we go. All right, before we get down to business, there's something we gotta take care of, it's very important. Before we actually start doing work and making this a project Jeep, we're gonna have to name it. I think it is customary. And since this is a pimp edition, I gotta come up with a good pimp name. Now, after careful consideration, so we came up with the name Gator. I mean, I, I had gotten out of control, and I, I didn't even realize it. You can't have a conscience in the pimp game. Gator. Gator is going to be this Jeep's name. That's right, Gator. My new J to the double E-P is a P-I-M-P. Gator the pimp. So, here we go. Time to get down to business. Gator don't play no shit. All right, I'm going to do a door comparison. So, we got a smash right there. We got... I don't know if you can see it right here, but there's all scratches. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, the scratches continue here. So I want these two doors off. My doors are gorgeous. Right there, beautiful. Look, it's so shiny, I can even see myself. And then we're coming around passenger side. This is why I don't want this door. Scratch is here, and that door's perfect. We're gonna swap three out of four doors, and then we'll have to swap this door handle to get rid of the chrome. Even though she's a pimp, I don't want the chrome. We're gonna have to put this door card on it, and we're not gonna use this mirror because I crashed it again. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I do have a spare though, so I'll get the best mirror I could find on. All right, now we'll get to work. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna start our door swap with the damaged door. If you're gonna do door swaps, you always wanna practice on the thing you don't care about. So if we smash this door in the process, well, hey, we got uh, we got some experience busting a door already busted. Uh, also, if you're gonna do multiple doors and you wanna get a feel for it, do the rear doors first. They're usually lighter. So these Commanders, as well as most Chryslers and Jeeps and whatnot, have four little screws right there. We're not going to take the hinges off. What we're going to do is take the door from the hinge. So it's one, two, three, four right there. So that's, uh, I think, 15 millimeter or 13 millimeter. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to have to unplug it. So all you got to do is take off this right there. Oh, look at that. Somebody already fixed busted wires in there. If you have bad windows not working or speakers on the fritz, it's probably because your wires are broken in the door boot. I get a little pick in here. And the same thing on the bottom. There we go. Door's disconnected. Oh, look at that. Somebody crimps too hard. Yeah, that's right. I crimp too hard and I pimp too hard. All right, 13 millimeter. So this thing is hanging on by a thread. Now you've seen me take off Cherokee doors before. I usually just prop it on my knee. If you need help lifting doors, then uh, it's time to grab a buddy. So we're uh, using the help of Uncle Rob. He helped me paint Police Model XJ. What was that, about six, seven years ago now? 2016. So we're gonna go pop this door right off. All right, she's out. Now we could just lay it down right here. There we go. 
Got it on a nice rolling dolly with a carpet so it's not scratched or you could just plop it down in your nice green lawn. So we got the door off, we'll inspect the hinges. We got these spacers, they're like big thick washers. They're held on loosely by this sticky waxy stuff. They can get popped off so be careful, let's see. Yeah, well, I've done it before to other Jeeps. I'm not gonna mess with it now. And uh, when we put the door back on, we're gonna wanna line up this hinge right on the door to make sure it matches perfectly. Right there. We're gonna wanna line it up so the hinge gets right on this trace outline so we know it lines up perfectly. The top pins right here have a nice thick uh, meat right there. That usually centers everything up good. These doors are really easy to put on. And if you check your door boots, now is a good time to get to the broken wires. Uh, it's really easy to do it when it's out loose and free. All right, we're gonna go and remove the good door in the exact same manner. I got it. Got it? <laughs> All right, here we go. We got our first door on and I wanted to show you those hinges out there because you can't really see them when it's on the door, uh, when the door is on. But yeah, we went ahead and we lined it up right to the edge of that paint mark. Actually, this could probably go in a little bit. I'll adjust it as best as possible and I'll go ahead and tighten this up. gonna soak it can't hurt just gonna reconnect our connector this way stuff her in actually you want to put the boot on first because it's harder to put the boot on once it's stuffed in <clears throat> there we go and stuff it in All right, let's see how we did. Ha! Perfect. Every time. Beautiful. Lines up. Excellent. The driver's side rear door, complete success. We're going to do the passenger rear door in the exact same manner. Beautiful. Now, if you get a little wind noise, it's probably because your door isn't in all the way. You could always adjust that, you know, pull the hinges out this way. We'll pull the door in this way, hinges out, and then it'll get a tighter seal. We won't know until we drive it, but right now, it's pretty dang good. So what we're going to do next is work on the passenger door, but we're not going to swap the passenger door. We're going to take the door card out and we're gonna swap the door handle out. Sorry, pimping, no chrome. Now we're gonna switch gears from doing door swaps to interior panel swap. So what we're gonna do is take off this interior panel, I'll show you how to swap that off, because, well, this door is much better than the other door from my other commander, but we're gonna have to swap the door panel and this door handle, because as silky smooth as this chrome is, Gator wants to keep it all black. Uh, what you're going to need is a Phillips head, flathead screwdriver for prying, and an 8mm, and uh, an extension is great. I'm using an impact, nice and easy, and if you drop a screw for the door handle, you might need a magnet on a stick, that always helps. So here we go, this is easy peasy. Uh, right in here with the door lock, you got to pop out this little plastic cover, alright there, and it comes with a little piece of plastic that connects it so you won't lose it. It's pretty deep inside. If it doesn't come out, give a little pound. And then there's one tucked away nice and neat under this door handle. Go ahead and get that out. That one's easy peasy. One right up here, hidden behind the dashboard. And the only other tool I recommend is a trim removal tool. I got a set from Chris Watson. It's a Motivex tool set. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description if I can. Very handy. Helps you not pull too hard on these pieces. It's just plastic. It'll dislodge itself from the back of the um, panel and you don't want to 
bust all that plastic. So I'm just running this uh, nice smooth plastic along the edge and they're popping easy. Somebody had been inside here before I could tell by how easy it is to remove. So once these are all out, down and around, there's six of them I do believe. And you gotta get the clip up here. Just work your hands in there, pull gently. Oh, that one's already out. Oh, all right, well, this is just gonna slide up and over this door lock. Just like that. And then we just got two connectors over here, doing the one hand dance over here. All right, once we're inside our door panel, just gotta disconnect our door lever. Just push on this piece. There. <laughs> One, and come on baby, two, all right, that's it, door panel off. All right, now if you want to do a mirror swap, you could just move this foam out and you got three eight millimeter nuts right in there. One, two, and three, right where the foam plugs go. We're not going to be doing that today. We are going to be taking off this door handle. You know, see you pimping. Been there, done that. See you pimping. They are in here. One, two, and the third one there. Ha! So that's really simple to get to. The only other thing you have to disconnect is this lock. Where is it? There we go, this lock button. Now it's pretty impossible to pull it out of that clip. So what I do is I disconnect this little green clip down there at the bottom. It's much easier to get to there so that guy is disconnected now we'll just get in here with our eight millimeter oh, drop my socket into the door and so we have magnets got it now we're just gonna pull this out and wiggle it to the front and there she is and the black one's gonna go in the same way the chrome one came out. I'm just gonna slide it in gently from the front towards the rear. Lines up beautifully. There. Ta da! Easy! And I'm just gonna reach down in there and connect that little green door handle lever. There, got it. Before we put on the door panel, just wanna make sure that none of these little clips are missing or broken. If they are, you could just borrow one from your old panel. And another thing, I always thought that this was the key fob lock module. They're usually in the passenger doors of uh, WJs, ZJs, XJs, but this doesn't have an FCC ID in it, so I don't know what this is. But uh, before you throw out your old panel, just uh, save it just in case you need it. This Jeep works with the fob without this panel even connected, so I don't think I need it, but hey, save it if you can. And we'll go ahead and put this on. All right, our door handle is on. We're just gonna reconnect this lever down here. It goes on the same way it came off. Put the little rod through the hole and slide the clip on. Boom, locked in place. And we're just gonna plug in that door harness. And don't forget your mirror connector. All right, just lay this baby in from the top. Line up this little lock lever button puller. <laughs> All right, lock is lined up. And get this top in. A little in place. There we go. And line it up with the trim. And make sure your little fasteners line up with the holes so you don't punch it in and break them off. That would suck. And same thing going around. We're just gonna line them up with the, oh, look at that. They're going right back in where they belong. Effortlessly. Cool. Now for the screws. Gonna lock in our screws in no particular order. One, two, and three.
gentle on these. They are plastic after all. Nice and easy. And if you have a specific trim, you might want to make sure your panels match, whether it's wood grain or silver or whatever you have. I'm sticking with this much more striped looking set that was on my black Jeep. All the door panels are gonna match. And I also already swapped out the head unit trim. So that bezel is wood grain original for 2010. There. So we're gonna try the fob. Lock, unlock. So yeah, that little module had nothing to do with the fob. So good, door panel's done, black, and it matches. All right, so I swapped the two back doors, swapped the door panel on the front passenger door. Now we're gonna take off the front door, driver door, and uh, I'm probably gonna take a break from this video, swap over to the bumper video that I'm also doing simultaneously. So uh, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I got both back doors looking good, looking tight. Now it's time for the front doors. And these babies are a little bit more heavier. They, they mow heavy than the uh, back doors. So you will need a buddy to help you lift. I recommend it. And also one thing is the mirrors. These protrude out. So you're going to want to fold these in before you start so you can lay it down gently on the grass or on a cart. You don't want the... Uh, Put it on the cart and have the mirror sticking down, scratching up the end of the mirror. So just be mindful of that. The only other difference is it's got a bigger clip with two clips inside. Again, everything's the same. And once this is off, you're gonna wanna open this up, check the boot, make sure there's no wires busted because this is the most common door. So wires have a better chance of breaking in this one. All right, now with the driver door, what you're gonna wanna do is, oh, hey, see you pimping. What you're gonna wanna do is check out these hinges in here. Make sure they're not all uh, busted and wiggly and jacked up. It's a good time to change the hinges too. If they're not solid, you could get access to the hinge pin while the door's off, but this is pretty good, pretty solid. I didn't have any problems with uh, this year Jeep with the Grand Cherokee, the uh, Liberties, um, Commanders, these are pretty solid, well-made hinges, so um, not gonna do anything to them, but again, it's a good good way to uh, check it, fix it while you're at it. Some other important things you may wanna consider when doing a door swap is maintaining your trim. If your old door has better trim than the new door, go ahead and grab yourself your weather stripping, and also feel free to squirt some fluid film or rust preventative up inside your doors to prevent rust. And more importantly, you're gonna to wanna to maintain your VIN sticker right here. I'm gonna see if I can extract this sticker to put on my new door. I'm going to attempt my extraction with a heat gun and a razor blade, but before you do it, you might wanna take a picture of this, in case you botch it or rip it. You'll still be able to use your picture to identify what's on this sticker. It's like paint codes, tire size, your VIN number, all that good stuff. Little bit of brake clean and a paper towel cleaned up the old glue the new sticker stuck right on that's awesome that came out great and pop in the weather stripping good as new All right, guys, here we go. Two driver's doors swapped and a rear door swapped. The sun is going down now. It took so long because, well, we did a bumper swap. We ran into some trouble because there was some damage over there. So stay tuned for that. So that's going to be in the next video. That's going to do it for this door swap. Hope you guys enjoyed. Now we're going to close out this video with a word from our pimp sponsors. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next project. Peace.